Hello everyone. I would like to inform you that I'm going to start a new course on introduction to renewable energy sources. These courses will be useful for interdisciplinary branches. Today, I'm going to discuss a brief overview about the course. So I'm going to prepare short videos regarding each topic. Today, I'm going to cover what I'm going to discuss in the forthcoming sessions. Let's have a brief syllabus overview. There are five modules. Overall course is divided into five modules. In the first module, you'll be mainly talking about the introduction to renewable energy source. Why renewable energy sources are required? What do you mean by energy scarcity? What are the reasons for energy scarcity? Then how do you classify energy sources? Then why we should go for renewable energy sources? Moreover, we'll be inspecting the energy scenario of India and the world. Later, why sun is considered as primary source of energy and a different terminology related to sun and we'll be studying about uh, the different uh, solar thermal application as well. These are the topics which I'm going to discuss uh, in module number one, basically an introduction. Moving ahead, the second module comprises of two important segments. The first segment is solar thermal energy collectors. It is basically solar thermal application. We are going to discuss about various types of collectors and how we are going to use solar collectors to convert solar energy into useful heat. Also, we are going to learn some kind of mechanical cycle, especially Brioton cycle regarding this. Moreover, the air conditioning system, solar air conditioning system and uh, solar water heating application, solar cooker, etc. How it is possible? Okay, how you are going to extract solar energy into useful heat? Moving on to the second segment, it is solar PV application. In that you are going to discuss about uh, solar cells, components of solar system, uh, then the solar materials and uh, the different characteristics such as IV characteristics, PV characteristics, also you are going to discuss about the combination, series, parallel, possible we'll discuss about series parallel aspect. So these are the major components which you'll be covering in module two. Moving further, in the third module, as you can observe, the third module comprises of four important segments. The first segment is on about hydrogen energy. The second segment is the wind power generation system. Third one is geothermal system. Fourth one is solid waste and agricultural refuse. Hydrogen energy, you need to understand the benefit. Why hydrogen energy is considered as very much costly energy. It's very much costly. Okay, it is not an easy to produce. And we'll be discussing about issues and challenges related to hydrogen energy. Energy from uh, the hydrogen. Another one is wind energy. What is windmill, wind turbine? wind sources, wind turbine generator, how do you select a suitable site for installation of windmill? Another one is geothermal energy, how to extract electrical energy from geothermal source. Where does geothermal sources distributed all over the world? Another one is one of the main uh, challenging issue of waste management you must have studied. What do you mean by solid waste? What are the different types of solid waste? How to extract energy from solid waste? Also, how to what, what do you mean by a, a 3R concept? Reduce, reuse, and recycle concept. These are the points which we are comes under module 3. We are going to discuss in brief and not elaborate. This is a general course. It is applicable to all the branches, even electrical, electronics, mechanical, civil, etc. All the even computer science branches also will be uh, opting this elective subject. Another one is module four. Let us discuss what are all the things we are going to discuss in module four. The module four is having four, three segments. First one is about biomass energy. Then you are deal, dealing with the biogas energy. Then third one is called a tidal energy. First we'll discuss what is biomass and biogas. What are the differences between biomass and biogas? Fine and uh, different uh, technology to extract, different sources of biomass we are going to discuss. We are preparing a checklist of different type of sources and uh, we are going to discuss one of the major components called the gasifier. 
combustion, all the process we are going to discuss. Okay. Later, we are going to discuss about biogas. Okay. How to convert biomass into biogas? What do you mean by anaerobic digestion? What are the different processes related to anaerobic digestion? And some models also we are going to discuss in this particular second segment. Moving on to the third segment, we are discussing about tidal energy. What do you mean by tidal energy? How to generate electricity from tidal energy? Uh, what about the different sources which are available in the tidal energy all over the world? We are going to discuss in India and abroad. Fine. Different uh, plants are, tidal plants are locating all over the world. We are, it's a specific, only a particular area we are going to identify uh, that particular tidal energy. So uh, that is the major content. Uh, in the module 4. So in module 5, let us see what are the things we are going to discuss in uh, module 5. In module 5, uh, there are two important segments. First one is called wave energy, importance of wave energy. Another one is called as OTEC, ocean thermal energy conversion. So uh, in that wave energy, we are going to discuss about the, uh, mo uh, the mo mo movement, uh, movement of sun and moon we are going to discuss and how to extract energy from uh, the moon uh, movement the, with respect to the motion of sun and uh, um, moon. And uh, we are going to discuss the particular block diagram of wave energy generation. Later on, we are going to discuss about OTEC. What do we mean by ocean thermal energy conversion system? In that one of the important cycle called Rankine cycle. So in mechanical engineering students might have studied about the Rankine cycle. And uh, even uh, all first year engineering students will be familiar about Rankine cycle. Okay, the main working principle is Rankine cycle. And uh, apart from that, uh, there are different uh, cycles are available like the Carnot cycle. Using Carnot cycle also, we can use the OTEC system. So how to produce electricity uh, from uh, OTEC? Fine. So these are the things we are going to discuss in module uh, five. So uh, the main uh, objective, the main course outcome of this particular course so we'll have a, in module one, we'll have a broad discussion about the situation, scarcity and energy scenario, classification of energy, why we should uh, move on to renewable energy sources. In the second module, we are going to discuss about energy from uh, sun. Uh, there are two types of uh, solar energy, solar thermal application, another one is solar photovoltaic application. Uh, fine. Afterwards, we are going to discuss about hydrogen, energy from hydrogen, uh, energy from wind, uh, geothermal system, solid waste and agricultural waste. These are all the things which we are going to discuss in module 4. Uh, in module 5, we are going to discuss about uh, the energy from biomass and biogas. And uh, finally, tidal energy, wave energy, OTEC, etc. So in module 4 and 5, we can see uh, this particular portion. So uh, my plan is I'll be covering in brief about each and every topic with uh, less than 10 minutes video, short, short video. So it will be helpful for your examination point. Uh, it is applicable for uh, entire university. Uh, all, all the type of universities you can uh, choose this kind of uh, topic. Many of the universities are offering these kind of courses. Fine. So let us uh, discuss the first module in the forthcoming class. If you have any suggestions or any modification of the topic which I need to cover more, please put up in the comment box. I'm uh, very happy to uh, add those topics. Uh, in my lecture series. It's a separate playlist and there are different playlists in my channel as you can observe. There are different uh, uh, topics are available. This is a separate playlist namely renewable energy sources. So most of the university is offering it as an open elective subject uh, because it is highly uh, signifying uh, the significance is uh, more uh, for this kind of uh, topic nowadays. Okay. Ha happy learning. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.